okay, what are the constituents of interstellar space? At the macro level, it's almost empty. It is almost, it is a better vacuum than anything we can produce on this earth with our best technology. So interstellar space is mostly empty. It does have a very, very small density of molecules and atoms and cosmic ray protons, antiprotons and atomic nuclei and all that. But that is a very, 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 very minuscule density. It also has some dust particles and so on, but it's mostly empty. It's, it's a better vacuum than anything, anything we can produce on Earth. It also has stars and galaxies and nebulae and dark matter and dark energy. And at the, at the quantum scale, it, the, the empty space is not empty. It is teeming with uh, virtual particles, the quantum fluctuations. So what's a quantum fluctuation? It is a temporary and random disturbance or fluctuation in the energy of a point in space, which is caused by the constraints imposed by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So there are two ways of looking at the uncertainty principle. One is the position and momentum uh, way of looking at it, and the other one is energy and time. So the so what happens is that it, in, in empty space, just randomly, spontaneously, you have this particle-antiparticle for pairs being formed. So an, a particle and an antiparticle anti are formed, and this uh, they quickly recombine and uh, disintegrate. So even though this violates the law of conservation of energy, you cannot have energy uh, form, uh, uh, coming out of vacuum, yet this happens. But it happens so fast that it does not violate Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And that's why you have this quantum, this vast... Uh, array of quantum fluctuations in empty space. So this is the energy of, of, of uh, vacuum. It's called vacuum energy. So that is what we have in interstellar space in vacuum at the quantum level. 